Hello and welcome to another update video about Crow. I was working through the charts today while not much is happening in the crypto world and um, yeah, I've reworked my Crow chart. Um, obviously it has made a completely new bear market low um, and therefore I have to assume that it clearly topped in an ABC structure. And this is the long term outlook which is now very questionable due to the new bear market low yeah, and also this ABC top. So I'm watching for a reaction here in this region that could lead to a rally in a wave two correction. It might never lead to new all time highs. Okay, um, it could do. Yeah, and if it does even better, but I have to put out a warning here just, you know, just based on the structure, based on the situation that we have a basically a new bear market low and that we have five waves down pretty much. Okay. Um, however, there is a potential for a rally, okay, and I have to say that, however, well, very important, I can't confirm that a low is in place, that's that's one thing, um, because we are still caught in this descending wedge pattern down here, but let's dive into the detail. First of all, you can see this ABC structure that led to a rally in a three-wave move into November 21, then up there I've got a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup, here a third wave to the downside, which bottomed here in November, okay, then a fourth wave rally, and now a fifth wave to the downside. I cannot rule out that the fourth wave is still in the making, maybe it's working on some kind of a flat structure. So just uh, remember that if we get a rally, it might just be the way four, and it might not go as high as, for example, here 14 cents, for example. It could just be, but that's very hard to determine, very hard. And also because we have five waves down pretty much or nearly complete, I prefer that this fourth wave is in. Nevertheless, it was a very, very short and bearish and shallow wave four um, because typically you would expect a wave four to reach at least the 23.6 FIB level and I think it missed it. So this would be here. Let's see, maybe it met. Now I see it missed it here. It did miss it. So from that point of view, yeah, very, very skeptical, okay, that this is a way four already complete. So it might give us an expanded flat. How would that look like? It would simply be A wave up, uh, B wave down, C wave up in wave four, and then down in the way in the fifth wave. Uh, but that's always annoying, so hopefully it doesn't happen. Either way, um, lower lows at this stage still likely, but we've now reached a point where you could say, okay, potentially this fifth wave is in. And if we now see a rally, we might want to count it as the wave two has started. So if we see something impulsive, then I would argue that we might be within the A wave of the wave two, which again could go into the region between 14.4 cents and 50 cents. So it's a, re it's a huge area. That's the, always a challenge with these corrective rallies in a wave two. Uh, I've seen it many times. It's very hard to determine where they will land because some coins are so bearish that they don't even get there. Some are really maxing it out when we have these corrective rallies in a wave two. But yeah, um, again, there is not even a setup on the lower time frame that would um, allow me to consider that this is started anyway. Now, looking at the subwave structure, this is this descending wedge. We are in the fifth wave. Um, price has reached here. Basically, you would say the expected target, I mean, I didn't make a video, but what you normally look for in a wave five of an ending diagonal is the 61.8 extension of the third wave. That was reached, okay. But the reaction is not really convincing. Um, but I have to say very clearly, there is a potential that it now starts to go up. But bear in mind, it would only be a corrective rally. You're basically working against the higher level trend at the moment. Um, and there is not really a clear five wave move up that I could find that I could see here, especially with this spike. Yeah, I can't tell you if this is a five wave move. There is no, there are no sub wave structures really that I can recognize. Um, so the next target down, if we make another low, which I would assume now, because I assume that for many coins and just for risk management purposes, I would assume we get one more low here until I see a clear five wave move up and a three wave pullback. And that five wave move goes above the previous swing high. Yeah which is at 6.2 cents. So until then I assume another low and this wave five could reach 4.28 cents next. That's the 78.6 extension level of the third wave or the, the eight point, uh, sorry, the 3.87 cent level 
which is the 100% extension level. I have marked them on the chart with a dashed line, very important. And be aware that price seems to be moving in this yeah, price channel or descending wedge, depending on how we draw it. Um, and it might, it might show a reaction here when it reaches one of these trend lines again. And if we get a breakout of the wedge, it could be a very, very early signal that a breakout is happening here to the upside. Um, this is one where I don't really want to provide a very clear uh, support area. So these are the next levels to watch, but I would be very careful because this looks very clearly like a three wave move up and a five wave move down. We can't even count it in a bullish way anymore because the most bullish way would have been one, two, one, two but it should have held at least then the uh, December 2020 low. Even better would have been this swing low at 8.2 cents, but it broke below all of them. So yeah, bearishness here on this chart at the moment. And yeah, I'm not saying it could never rally again. It can, for example, in a wave two. And however, this chart has a lot to prove now. It has a lot to prove if it forms something like that. Five waves up above resistance and then a three wave pullback. Then we have better prospects for the future, but that will take a lot of work. A lot of work and um, yeah, first of all, I would assume this is a, going to be a corrective rally if there is one, okay? But at the moment, again, there is not really the setup that would suggest it, but I would pay attention to the descending wedge upper boundary line and if price can break out, I think the very first target would be the top of this wave four, which is at around 9.3 cents. That's my update about Crow Kronos. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.